Depression, it's a real thing. I've experienced years upon years of depression and anxiety in my life. Is there anybody else out there who is experiencing depression? Well, I am gonna talk about one of the main ways to combat and ward off depression in this video. Stay tuned. Beautiful humans out here once again in this beautiful nature. A nice, gloomy, brisk, cold day. Ah, beautiful December. Breathing in that beautiful air. Out here soaking in the nature. Getting our pump on. Changing our life. In an effort to raise the vibration of the world. So we all can live in a little bit more peace and harmony. How do you get depressed? You're not born depressed. You're not born stressed. You're not born with anxiety. So how do you actually obtain all of this depression and stress? In our current day and age, unfortunately, we have way too many things that we are subjected to that aid in depression and anxiety. If you don't know by now, well now you know. One of the main things, in my opinion, that aids to too much stress is what you are putting in your body on a consistent basis, okay? What type of food, what type of water are you putting in your body on a consistent basis? That, in my opinion, is 100% going to determine how depressed and anxious you feel all the time, okay? Another thing is the content you are viewing on the nightly news, on YouTube, wherever it might be. What is the vibration of the content you are viewing? Does it feel good? Does it feel bad? Does it lead to depression? Does it lead to anxiety? So many Americans and other people all around the world, they think that depression and anxiety is this condition that you just get and that you're weird. You just have it and you gotta take pills to get rid of it. It really stems from the gut, the microflora. Are they stressed and depressed? Because if they are, you're gonna be. What is the microflora? It's the bacteria that live in your gut and determine your mental state, okay? Gotta eat better to live, people. This is a no-brainer. Also, if you have stressful home environments, that could lead to depression and anxiety. If you got dysfunctional parents that are constantly arguing and battling and constantly have a negative tone in the household. That could lead to depression and anxiety. Definitely jealousy and envy of peers, family members, or people on the social media platforms. Feeling the lack of because they're so abundant and you're not. You gotta get out of that mind frame as well. You need to start feeling abundant. That will definitely help with the depression and anxiety. That's another video though. Today, I wanna talk about one of the main ways I personally ward off depression and anxiety. And I firmly believe that it works wonders. And that is to simply create something, okay? I think one of the biggest downfalls in our societies, in our youths today, is there is a lack of creation. There is a lack of inspiration. There is a lack of artistic verve. That artistic verve 
that yearn, that yearning for creation is something that in my experience has immensely lowered the chance of depression and anxiety to enter my body. I think a big portion of depression and anxiety actually comes from our inner yearning to be expressing our passion every day. But unfortunately, in the indoctrination camp robot society we live in today, a lot of humans, inspiration and artistic verve is absolutely stifled. And a lot of people don't even know. A lot of people go through their whole life not even knowing that being a master crocheter would bring them inner peace and fight depression and anxiety. A lot of people didn't even know that becoming a rock climber would have been their greatest passion and led to their greatest fulfillment in life. Every single beautiful human on this planet has something, no matter how good at it they are, they have something that they are passionate about that they can do daily, weekly, that will be creating something, even if it's just creating happiness in their own heart. I love playing musical instruments. That is one of my long lived passions that I have done since I was like 10 years old. And it brings me unbelievable joy when I do it and fulfillment and contentment, writing songs, creating beats on the drums, building things, doing construction projects. That is actually one of my passions when I do it for joy. Helping beautiful humans obtain some new knowledge in life that can help them raise the vibration of humanity. That is one of my biggest passions right now in my life. That is how I create right now, at least the most, is by making videos that not only help me, but help a lot of beautiful humans to spread the vibration of peace and freedom like wildfire through this land. So I highly urge you, whoever is listening to this video, if you feel depressed, stressed, can't get no rest, not your best, you feel in the anxiety, you feel like something's missing in your life, simply think of something that you love to do and ask yourself, are you doing it regularly? And if you're not, start doing it regularly for the joy. Don't worry about an outcome. Don't think about financial gains, even though those may come. Most likely they will if you keep doing what you love, but you need to find something that you love doing that really fills your soul and do it more. If you do this, it is naturally going to start rewiring your body and mind to be more content, more fulfilled. For me personally, I have definitely seen this tactic as a strong player in the anti-depression, anti-anxiety game that I've played throughout my life. Okay? I've been just as depressed as the rest. I've been just as stressed as the rest. I have had just as much anxiety as the rest. I've actually gone through some pretty major <laughs> episodes in my life. But along the way, I have learned guaranteed tactics for me that work to get rid of and ward off and keep away depression, chronic depression and anxiety. And if they work for me, I'm a beautiful human. I could only imagine that they would work for you because you're a beautiful human. You came to this planet for a reason. 
Unfortunately, the robot machine, it's designed to make people forget the reason they came here for. You are special, straight up. You are magical, you have purpose. Even if it is only to bring a smile to somebody's face in the line at the grocery store. Find your purpose, find your passion, and do it. Regardless of the outcome, this will change your life for the better. I promise. Let's get it.